Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Farm Sim Dad and this is going to be episode 5 of Surviving the Yukon. It is now December 2nd and we are headed into town to sell our silage bales. There's a, a barn sale place down here in town and they're going to buy our silage bales. Price is right right now so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these make us a little more money um, so last time I finished up the uh, the contract for mr. Miller and we got that five thousand dollars for us we do have a little bit of rental fees to keep this trailer so that's why the if you're keeping track of the money that's why the money might not be quite right we have a $250 rental fee per month for this thing and or per day I think and uh, I think it's like $250 property uh, loan interest per day so hopefully we'll get rid of some of that loan here soon but I kind of put this thing up on the hill didn't I? I might in the future just put us a cell point up by the house so we don't have to drive down here every day this this version of this map is kind of almost like a beta version they got um, they got some areas that between version 2 and 3 and they got some areas that um, kind of sketchy especially on the way down here there's like a train track crossing the road but it's like up in the air so you can't get around it yeah so we might just make us our own sale point up at the house and that way we can sell our bales close to home and our grains and stuff so all right so over fifteen thousand, fifteen and a half thousand for that. It's pretty good. Do that a couple. We can do that three times a season. So, so that is very nice. Let's wait till this thing loads up. I'm gonna get hung on that tree. So what I want to do now is head over to the store. I think I'm, we're gonna do a. At least there was last month. I'm not sure if there's still a good one this month or not. Yes, I think we're going to do this cultivating contract on field 18. Another $15,000. Help a neighbor out. So I think we'll do that. And while we're down here anyway, because field 18 is on the southern end of the map. So we'll head over to the store. And we'll park our tractor and borrow a tractor and a cultivator for for that job because I'm sure the cultivator is quite large need a big tractor so we'll just take the little hit and rental fee and bar the tractor and cultivator to do that job and we'll go over there and knock that out so yeah it's winter time here so there's not much going on as far as farming goes so I figured we could do a contract and help a neighbor out um, goals for this episode uh, after this contract probably go ahead and fast forward a couple months might get our fast forward to our harvest month I don't know if we'll go that far or not we'll see let's see where am I going well there's not an easy way to get there up and around okay I wish we could just cut through these trees here, but it's pretty thick, so we'll just go around. It won't take us too long. So yeah, I'll probably do the do the contract and head back up to the farm. Might do another load or two of trees. If there's nothing else going on, fast forward a couple months till we can get something something for us to do. I would probably not gonna fast forward too much past. I go to March because I would like to see if we have enough to purchase another piece of land or we could expand our field maybe make us another field cut down some more trees and make us another field on our current property I know that loan is, is looming large and we're getting into well, we started in August so so we're not what, not quite half a year into it yet so 
We have five years to pay the loan off, so I think it's what it was. I have to check back at the notes, but it's either three or five years, so we got some time on the loan to work on that. So I would like to get another field, whether we make our own or purchase some land. So let's go ahead and accept this contract. We will borrow the items. And there they are. And I'm um, keeping my eye out for a new tractor in the in the used tractor store. This thing, it's a good little tractor, but I really want an automatic because those, especially when this um, when that bell loader is full, and it takes a while to get through the gears. So yeah, this thing's nice. Here, obviously, we can't afford anything like this, but it sure would be nice if we could. Oh, look at that mystic. Guess it'd help if I could see where I was going now. Alright, we are headed to field 18, which is straight south. Back to the bridge and across. Alright, let's go. See if there's maybe a little shortcut we can take. Oh, don't hit that. Woo. Uh, nope, there's a fence there. Can't go that way. See how much of a row these trees are. This might not work out, but we're going to give it a shot. Why not, right? Might be easier in cab. Let's see, hopefully the plow doesn't get hung on anything. And there's the river, so we're getting close. Look at that. That might be a little bit cheating, but save us some time anyway. A little off-road action. Test the tractor out. Not sure why that screen's flashing. Probably the server uploads. I'm playing this in multiplayer, so it's up online, but we won't have to stay in. Oh, there's the there's another messed up railroad track. Yeah, see this the modders are adding stuff for version 3 of the map and I guess the version I downloaded was kind of in between version and this there's a couple of places on the map where that railroad track is elevated and you can't go over it it will trigger collisions so. anyway, this still saved us a little bit of time we'll get over here and get field 18 done and um, yeah, he just hadn't done the terrain to bring that. That's crazy. And hadn't fixed the terrain to handle that bridge yet for the railroad track. I assume it'll look something like this when he gets it done. But we can't really go to version three of this map because we have to start a new game save and we're already in it pretty good. So we'll probably just stick with this one and try to avoid the sketchy areas. trying to think if there's anything else to tell you guys I have been still talking with the, some people in town and I think I'm getting a pretty good pretty good lead on a couple investors there's a couple guys that want to get into gold mining but they don't really have the time let's see if there's a road down here to 18 or if we're going to have to do the bush ride again let's just do the bush ride we'll just go straight down there why not? Right. I think there is a road over here. Is that the railroad track? It might be the railroad track. But anyway, yeah, there's a couple guys that want to get into the gold mining business, but they don't really have the time to work it. So that might work out good for us. We can we can do the work and man the mine, and if they invest, and we'll you know obviously take a smaller share than what they're taking since they put up all the money but I think we'll we'll see maybe we can work out a good deal that'll work in our favor since we're doing all the work but it will be with their money so we'll see what we can work out with them I'm 
I'm softening them up a little bit on, on making a deal for us. So hopefully that'll come through in the next year or two. Um, yeah, while I'm going, I'll put this in cruise control and go a little bit. We can look at the map. I'm thinking of maybe buying one of these smaller fields over here. Oh, well, maybe, yeah, I think these two was what I was looking at. So 111,000. We got that right now, but that will pretty much wipe us out. But that will give us two more fields to to work this season. So I think that's probably what we'll do since we, we pretty much have all the equipment we'll need. Um, yeah, so I think that's a good plan. We can plant. Um, I think I want to plant soybeans. That's the one of the most profitable cash crops that doesn't involve too much extra work. So, Go ahead and put this down. Get this thing rolling. Well, uh oh, I think my game froze. Oh, there we go. Server acting glitchy, I guess. Yeah, we'll get this thing cultivated and make us 15,000 right quick. Anyway, yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice tracker here. I'm not sure I like the broken section too much, you know, the independent front and back, but I do love this cultivator. Yep, so... All right, guys. Well, I will get this done off camera and get the get our tractor and baler back up, bail loader back up to the house, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a little bit. Hey, guys, and welcome back. So, it is now April first. What I have done is in the winter I did. I finished the the first contract, the cultivator for fifteen thousand. I did two more, another cultivator and a plowing. Those gave both gave around thirty thousand together, so forty five ish altogether. Um, then I then I decided to purchase fields two and three for us, so we now have three fields all together. Uh, two, three, and five. Uh, I went ahead and these had some crops. Both of these had some crops growing on, but they were eaten up with weeds and and needed lime and plowing. So I went ahead and brought the plow and the spreader over here. I plowed both of these. We got a fertilizer state because there was something planted on them already. So we're halfway fertilized, and I went ahead and spread the lime out. Um, I'll give you guys show you guys what it looks like yep so we got these two fields here um, the plan is to plant soybeans on these so I will go ahead and do that as well I'll do that off camera I went ahead and rented the cedar and brought it over it's full of seeds so I'll get these two fields planted off camera you guys have seen that so no need to bore you to death with rows of seating um, what I'm gonna do now is head back take this stuff back to the farm and also over the winter I made the deal with the two guys from town for the the investment on the gold mine up there so I'm gonna take you guys up there and show you what we got going on up there and kind of explain the deal we made and and how we're gonna work it out with the money and stuff so that'll be pretty fun we can finally get into some gold mining and make us a little money at it while we got the farm going as well so I'll run back to the house just up ahead drop this stuff off and then we can take the truck up there or it's kind of a very windy road to get up there just for the sake of time and I have to record me driving all over the place. We'll probably just 
fast traveled up there real fast and I can show you guys around. All right. So yeah. Yeah, let's just leave that here and we will fast travel up here. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunity. Well, it's not too terribly far. We can drive. Just so you guys can see the the layout of what we got going on up there and the the drive it's kind of kind of a lot so let's see and excuse my driving skills my steering wheels acting up at the moment so I'm driving with the keyboard I think go up the mountain yeah yeah only been up here once to check it out before we made the deal so don't have all my turns figured out yet but it is a windy road up through here they do have bridges and stuff and so all that will hold our equipment so that's good we won't have any trouble getting the heavy equipment up here and I think it's a left here. Yes. We'll take the left and then come around this way. Another left. Yeah, this is almost straight up. And this is another thing. I'm not sure if the equipment's going to get over this pile of pay dirt here or if we're going to have to excavate that out first. Get it, truck it up here to the mine cut us a little road through there we might have to do that I'm not sure if the equipment can get over that this little truck's pretty pretty handy it can go go over it pretty easy but the big trucks and excavators might not so we'll see alright and we want to not go to the fire tower circle on around yeah so it's pretty it's a pretty rough road up here. This is a little landing area. We can use that for something. I'm sure some storage, equipment storage or, or something. But yeah, this is it. This is the, the gold mine here. Ooh. As you can see, there's plenty of pay dirt here. So we don't necessarily need that stuff at the road this block on the road there's plenty to mine here to get us going so so yeah this is it um, so the deal we made was the investors from town gave us 1.5 million dollars to buy the land the wash plant and get the operation going because we need the the washroom and the smelter and you know equipment to mine it they gave us 1.5 million and the deal is we do all the work and we get 40 percent of the profits of the gold until their money is paid back once we get their 1.5 million back then we split everything 50 50 and they gave us the option in the future to buy further down the road obviously they want to make some money first so he said they'd Ideally like to double their investment before they got ready to sell, but we'll see about that we can we might can work something out, but it might be quite a while before we can afford you know a million and a half dollars worth of stuff, so we would have to buy everything from them as far as the equipment and the wash plant and the land, so we're gonna need a million and a half of our own money to do that so how I set that up was I went ahead i'm because I'm on multiplayer, I can have multiple farms. So I made this investor farm here. Go ahead and join that so I can show you. So as you can see, I, I started them out with their initial investment of 1.5 million. I purchased the land for 360, 364, almost 365. And the wash plant was another 400. So 765,000 brings us to where we're at. So we got 735,000 left to get everything going. It's 
So I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be nice. We get our, not our mine, but we get a mine to run. I'm thinking I'll probably put our uh, smelter and washroom over here. So let's see, there's the washroom. Yeah, these are pretty big. So then you gotta be able to get to the back to put fuel in. I don't wanna block the, I wanna block off the uh, pay dirt there. So I have to go somewhere in here. Let's see what's on this side. Uh, we might can, we don't really need to get to the water. So I could put them here. And just use the other side to pile the pay dirt. Maybe put it like right there. And then the other one. Hmm. Because we're going to need an area to. I mean, the pay dirt here is so close. We don't really need an area to pile pay dirt. So we could just sit them up right here. We don't want to block the tailings. I might go long ways, just do two long ways here with room to get behind for the fuel and, and room to get in the front. Yeah. Yeah, these are a hundred thousand apiece, man. We're not gonna have much money left for fuel and stuff. But yeah, let's um Yeah, let's do that. So we don't have to take it very far. So this is the washroom. Let's do the smelter first because I want to put the washroom probably here so we can get to the... Because you have to load diesel in the back. So I'm trying to think of what will be the easiest way to get the diesel fuel in there because there's no... There's no road access up there, so we'll have to truck it in. Right, yeah, let's do the smelter first, because it does not require diesel fuel. So we can actually put it up a little bit, give us room to get back there. We'll put it over here on the edge as far as we can go. Uh, yeah, sure, that looks good. All right, and our washroom. I guess I have to move my player out of the way. Let's see, production, washroom. And we'll put her not on top of the other one, of course. Let's get a little bit so we can see what we got. I don't see a reason to need to get between the buildings so we can get them as close as we can. But uh, that should be enough room to get a truck back there. And if it's not, we'll just have to move some dirt out of the way. Yeah, I like it. Boom. So now we have our, and there's still plenty of room to pick up the tailings. Well, plenty, it'd be a tight squeeze, but that's okay. But yeah, so the concentrate will come out right here. Just take it right over to the washroom, get it washed, and then it'll spit out pallets of gold, bring the gold to the smelter, smelt them in the bars. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This will be fun. So, so yeah, we, we're we mining now, guy. Well, not, not yet, but we're going to be mining. Next episode, we'll, we'll buy some equipment and get this thing rolling um yeah i'm looking forward to that so um so yeah so i will get that field planted here after this episode so we can get us some more money coming in i will check on let's see we can leave the truck up here for a minute and i wanted to check on these while before i let you guys go but we can Fast drop. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have access. Let's go back to our farm right quick. Um, yeah, so I wanted to check on our canola here. Yep, it's growing good. It does need lime because I didn't do that, but 
We're on five out of eight. We're only getting an eighty-three percent yield bonus because it didn't do the lime or roll the field before we planted. But that's okay. We'll do that next time. This was our our first field, so it'd be good just to get some crops to sell. So looking forward to this. Um, we only have forty-eight thousand. I did want to buy a harvester to do this, but we might have to rent the first time. Um, yeah, cheapest is 75. We might have to rent that for the first go round, unless you know we get lucky and something pops in the store. Ooh, we might have to. Wow, that'd be nice. I might have to do a contract or two and buy that. I had to wipe out our money. We'll just stick with what we got for now. We we got our tractor's good enough for us right now. We'll stick with that. Um, but yeah, canola's going good. Um, hopefully, we can purchase a harvester before it's time to harvest. But we'll get the gold mine going and see how much money we get off of that. How much our forty percent share of is going to be for the work. But I'm looking forward to that. So. So yeah, I'll let you guys go here. Um, next episode, we'll get the gold mine going and and continue with the farm and make it some more money. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the show, please. If you enjoyed the episode, please. Uh, you know, give a like or if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe and and please let me know any ideas or suggestions you guys have in the comments but yeah i appreciate everyone who's watching and everyone who subscribed this is i said a brand new channel and a, a brand new thing for me to do youtube so i'm really enjoying it and i appreciate the support i've gotten so far and and yeah let's have we're having some fun so we'll keep it going thanks again for watching and happy farming <laughs>